THI reports that Stranger Things Millie Bobby Brown has been cast in her first film role, signing on to, to star in Godzilla, King of the Monsters, legendary sequel to its 2014 creature feature. Michael Doherty is directing the project, which he also co-wrote with Zach Shields, his partner on Legendary's horror movie Krampus. King of Monsters is part of the new monster cinematic universe that also includes Kong Skull Island. Kong is due to hit theaters March 10th, while King of Monsters is scheduled for a release on March 22nd, 2019. Christian Byersell, Millie Bobby Brown, starring in Godzilla, King of Monsters. Yeah, I'm going to buy this. And look, when we talked about Michael Doherty directing, I was, sell I'm, was selling it, and I'm still not convinced with him yet on Krampus and Trick or Treat. I, I don't know yet to see what kind of... Sorry, Perry, it hasn't proved anything yet. As far I'll give you a pass on Krampus, trick not Trick or Treat. Trick or Treat it might be a fine movie, but it doesn't... Have you ever seen it? Uh, no, I didn't see the movie, <laughs> but, but what I'm saying, I'm, what I'm saying is it might be I'm, a... But it I'm might be gonna fine. give you my DVD. I Please don't watch know yet it. if that means if I don't know yet if that means he can take care of Godzilla. And I saw Krampus, and if that's the indication, I'm scared. And he also wrote it with this guy, so I'm scared. But that's what we're talking about. We're talking about <laughs> Millie Bobby Brown. And I just like saying Millie Bobby Brown. Um, <laughs> she is a good actress, and she really brought a lot to that character uh, of eleven. Not six, like Perry said earlier today. Um, who said that? Uh, that would be me. Uh, but <laughs> like I said, I like Millie Bobby Brown, and I think that uh, to have her in there, and especially this is going to be a couple of years too. She's going to have a couple more projects under her belt. This going back to what I was saying about Doherty, if you start casting people that ha you're not just getting stars, you're getting people that whether it's rising stars or people who've got the talent, that's going to definitely help the cause because. You're going to see – She's. And this goes back to another conversation we had the other day about she, this this actress who she'll take probably smaller roles to build up her career. She'll, t she'll do Stranger Things season two. She'll do a bigger movie like this. This is how you start to get in the, the, eye, the public eye more, people who didn't maybe watch Stranger Things, but now they'll know her because of, <clears throat> of Godzilla. So I think this is a really good ad. A huge buy. I'm a big, big fan of Stranger Things, and – I'm really confident that, because, you know, a lot of times when a young actor in particular comes out and they've got this hot property and then it disappears and the actor goes away, she's exceptional in yeah. Stranger Things. I mean, it's probably not new news to anyone who has watched it and actually just, I mean, looked at the nuance in that performance. She is really freaking talented. And I'm clearly a bigger uh, Mike Dougherty fan than you are, yep. but I'll give you that on Krampus. It, it, not his best work. I had a lot of fun with it, and it's a little alarming because that was essentially a monster movie, and now he's going to another monster movie. But I, I'm, I, I think I have faith in him. And with her on the cast, and then uh, Walton Goggins, ah, right. uh, yeah, bring it on. What about you? Uh, the huge buy for me right now is a new trick or treat viewing party at Perry's brand new apartment. Yep. Yeah. You got the new place. We're going to be watching it. Christian has to go. He's always having guests. I'd rather watch the Super Bowl. Ah, uh, no. well, yeah, so would I. <laughs> um, I don't, I mean, yeah, it's a buy. It's not like, I'm not like over the moon about it. She yeah. was great in Stranger Things. I love that show, but we're talking about Godzilla, the king of all monsters. That's why I'm going to see the movie. I'm going to see the movie so I can see that badass and then he, him and training to go up against King Kong, who will ultimately defeat Godzilla because King Kong is just too athletic and too powerful of a beast for King Kong, even though King Kong, even though, excuse me, Godzilla has a lot of abilities with the fire breathing and whatnot. Let's not forget the last time a huge TV star coming off a great TV show performance was cast in a Godzilla movie, Brian Cranston. Anybody go see Godzilla because Brian Cranston was in it? I hope you didn't because you'd probably leave a little disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go see this movie because you have Stranger Things. See it because it's Godzilla, damn it. Whoa, that's a, that's a <laughs> statement. All right, ladies. What do you guys think? Is this Millie Bobby Brown? Is that good to put her in this? Millie Bobby Brown. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I totally buy, one, I love Stranger Things and Millie Bobby Brown, of course. Um, but two, I love giant CGI monsters. Yeah, I just nice. do. And um, seeing King Kong in the Skull Island trailer, I'm just so excited for it. So I'm looking forward to that movie. And if it does well, and then Millie Bobby Brown's added to the next one, mm -hmm. I totally buy So much it. fun to say her name. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Wendy Brown. Brown. Um, and I have to agree with you, Ellis, that if anyone went to see the previous Godzilla film because of Brian Cranston, um, definitely not a good enough reason to see it because they probably maybe left the theater about 10 minutes in. Um, spoilers. So I am not going to go see Godzilla because Millie Bobby Brown. I'm seeing like she, this bonus that she's in the film because I do love her, but I am so excited to see more kaiju. Yay. Oh, all right. Natasha, what is next? 